and today finds me in the mountains of South Central Pennsylvania hiking on the uh, Standing Stone Trail. And I'm at Monument Rock, which is the uh, large quartzite spire that the trail is named for. It's a standing stone about 15 feet high. And while hiking up here, I found several plant species that I haven't got to yet for this channel. So here we go. I've actually found three of the five species of pine that are in the area I'm trying to cover in this channel. We got a white pine in the background there, a table, T-A-B-L-E, mountain pine, named after Table Mountain, South Carolina, I believe, growing in the foreground here. And we've also found some pitch pine, which I'm going to do later. I'm going to do the Table Mountain pine right now because I can't find that in a lot of other places I go hiking. We're pretty much near the northern limit of its range. And I do a lot of hiking in Kentucky, and I don't believe I've ever found it there. But I know it's in the uh, southern and central Appalachians, usually at the lower elevations with drier um, soils and not the higher elevations with the spruce forests, which, which you would find in the higher elevations of North Carolina, Tennessee, West Virginia, and Virginia. I think here we're at about 1,500 feet, which isn't that high for this area. And this area faces the sun. Even in December, it's kind of warm in the sunny side of the mountain here. All the snow is melted on this side of the mountain. And we've got a, you know, a fairly warm, hot soil in the summertime. And these plants can survive where other ones can't. Now I'm going to nickname this table mountain pine the touch-me-not pine or the porcupine pine or the ouch pine. Because, boy, I tried touching one and there are barbs on the ends of each of these cones. And they're like little claws. Let's see if they'll come into focus. There they go right there. And that is how you can tell the cones of this pine from one that it might, and from a distance might look like a Virginia pine, but the cones are much different. The needles are similar to a Virginia pine. I think they're a little bit lighter in green than the Virginia pine. I'm not finding Virginia pine here to do a comparison with. But there's our needles, they're about, well, I've got the dollar bill over here. Let's do this. The needles, I did forgot to put a coin there, but we've got needles that are about two to three inches long. They're in pairs. The guidebook says sometimes you'll find three in each bundle. I've looked all over, I've only found them in pairs. The cones, again, have those nasty barbed ends. I mean, it'll, it'll slice right through anything, including the plastic bag I had put them in. So be careful when handling these. And the cone on the left is from a pitch pine tree down the trail a little bit. It's a similar size. Doesn't want to stay still there. But it does not have the barbs on the end. It has these little points on the end, but they're nowhere near as sharp. They are not like the cat's claw on the end of the table mountain pine cones. And also, the table mountain pine cone is a little more triangular at the end. And this pitch pine cone is a little more oval at the end. And the pitch pine needles are much longer. Four to five inches long sometimes. The bark is similar. I'm not sure if I could tell them apart unless I had one right next to the other. And I could use the needles and cones to help me learn how to tell the bark apart. But let's take a look. The immature bark here is kind of scaly and um, looks a lot like a, other pines that I've seen. The Virginia pine has a similar looking bark. The mature bark, there's a dead tree here with some real large plates the size of at least a dollar bill. Let's go up here. We got one that's still standing and is not dead. And again, this is about a foot in diameter up the trail here. Probably a very slow growing tree in this kind of habitat. So this may have been, this one may have been around a while. And there we are. Looking at the mature bark. Let's see if I can get some good, good look at the plates here. So these chunks are plates that form on the larger trees are just basically cracks in the bark. I wouldn't call them furrows. 
but more just plates. And this one here is kind of a little bit younger tree, but it actually has like a shaggy bark on this branch. Almost looks like some of the hickories. So trees can do all kinds of different things with their bark. And um, in this particular case, I would probably go by the cones and the needles and not the bark because this could resemble the Virginia pine and the pitch pine. And I'll be adding those to this channel when the opportunity comes along.